What is up my fellow gamers in today's video we are making our first 10 star hero we also got a brand new coupon code now this code was just released today monday and it does have an expiration date so you can enter this new code until june 19th so hopefully you're subscribed with the notification bell on so that way you're always getting the newest latest codes from my videos so this is it it is new week Ooh. this is the new code click claim we're gonna get some premium summoning scrolls earlier today we went ahead and thank god we pulled a new really good hero we got a god air specifically we got the saint of purity which i desperately needed like another top tier hero to put in my lineup because what we're going to be doing is we're getting rid of the Lord of Artemis. The Lord of Artemis has been absolutely awful for me, like right now. Um, early game, you didn't like notice how bad she was, but now that I'm into like the more difficult content, she's really a liability. And I've been just like dying to try and get her out of my lineup and get someone else in. I just haven't had any other good character pulls yet. So this is gonna help out a lot. And we're actually gonna use her for food to go ahead and make our 10 star hero. So the way we're gonna do this is we got the Lord of Time. This is gonna be the first character that we get to 10 stars. We're gonna go over to Ascend. We got our six star food ready that we're gonna use this one. And then we are going to use our nine star, this specific hero, the Artemis. And there we go. We are gonna make our first 10 star. Drum roll, please. Ah. All right, here we go. Ascend in three, two, one let's go we were hurting really bad for gold that was one of the biggest things i was starting to struggle with the last couple days i was constantly out of gold and we also got a 15 dollars pack that pops up what is this select one of the following rewards the crown of hardening belonging to the hero um i'm not sure what this is it says it's material that's necessary for awakening the divine mind wow and we also have the real yearbook. So I'm not familiar with these two items that popped up. So I'm, you know, I'm not spending any money. This is my free to play account. So first 10 star on a free to play is pretty good. We got the wind god zodiac also that has been unlocked as well. So we've got a bunch of new things going on with this awaken area now. We have our potential activation. So we're going to need these potential fragments, which we can get through the growth bundle. Well, again, we're not spending money, but through the sky shop. Um, unlocks after 18 days of service and level 50. So we got a long time before we're really gonna have that because I think our server is only six days old for server one. Now, what's it gonna take to get them to 11 stars? 11 stars is pretty rough. You're going to need a six star duplicate of that character. So we're gonna need another one of these Lord of Times at six stars. And then we're going to need another nine star character. Ooh, it does get pretty, pretty expensive, guys. We got a lot of materials for the Starburst statue from doing that. So let's go ahead. We're gonna level this up a little bit. So this is what our new lineup is going to look like. We've got Saint of Purity in the back with the Lord of Time. So we got two of these like supporting healers. We have Night Eater as a big damage dealer. We have the Celestial Spear as another damage dealer. And we have a tank up front, which is gonna be the Dark Knight. So we got a pretty interesting lineup going on. We're gonna try this out, see how well it works. Let's go over a quick breakdown of like the content I've been able to do so far, six days playing as a free to play. For the Endless Abyss, we'll go ahead and I'll show you that I made it to floor 15. I'm currently on this one for the team battle. I think we can definitely beat this and get further in the team mode. So I'm a little bit behind on this, but pretty close to where I should be. And then solo mode, we are at floor 15 as well. Almost completed floor 15. We got stuck on that last round. For our Ancient Ruins, we made it up to difficulty eight. We pretty much won every single uh, battle that we have we haven't lost any and i also have not lowered the difficulty so this is just kind of what it naturally put us at for ancient sanctuary we are also at difficulty level five for our dragon spine tower we are stuck at level 320 the same thing with the events because i'm stuck on the demigods hero challenge i'm stuck on the stage five one right here and it's the same thing. They also have a Saint of Purity in the background over here, along with the Elementalist. Um, when she has that like damage mitigation thing going on with the little chain effect, it just really hurts a lot of my big damage dealers. We need someone to singly target her out and destroy her immediately. 
because I feel like if we destroy her, then we'll be good to go, and we can pretty much just we can pretty much just wreck everyone else. But we actually might be able to do this one. It's looking close. Okay, there we go. So we got her destroyed. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be easy now. Like that's the key is destroying the Saint of Purity in that back row because she just is really really strong. And we were able to do that. So now we finally beat this level. That was good. That was good. So now we are on stage six. Let's do stage six. Let's see if we can get through stage six as well with our new 10 star Lord of Time. They have uh, Elementalist again in the back. This one I think will be okay. The Night Eater is insane. Let me tell you. We, when I got to a nine star Night Eater, she puts in so much work. He is a crazy, crazy high damage dealer. She pretty much just like nukes the entire team. When I was doing the uh, solo mode for the other um, game mode that we just went over, where it has the team mode and the solo mode, I always pick Night Eater for one of my solo characters. And she just goes through and I mean, she was just mowing through enemies. She's really strong. Yeah, see, we're doing really good now. We're up to stage seven. We're going to get an extra copy of Celestial Spear if we can go ahead and complete this, which we should hopefully we can they have another saint of purity she is such a problem if you have an assassin i think it's not that big of a deal but we don't have an assassin that specifically targets like their back line uh you know heroes that have like low hp or something like that so it can be a little bit difficult because like she's just such a a good supporting character with the healing and resurrecting and so this is looking pretty close Hopefully, I mean, look at all the buff. We got so many buffs from the Dark Knight. I mean, that's one of the best heroes in this game as a tank, the Dark Knight. This gives your team tons and tons of positive buffs. Yes, yeah, they, they keep bringing back characters, which is like, oh, it's really, really tough. And we're, I feel like we're not getting anywhere. We really got to hit the back line and we're not. This is not looking good. We're I think we're pretty much going to fail. This looks like a fail. I would say an assassin is definitely like really, really needed for this like harder content. Um, fortunately, I don't really have like a really good assassin, specifically a lighter dark one, but it's definitely like very noticeable now when it, when you're when you're going up against enemies that have really strong healers. As far as the training grounds for the King's training, we made it to floor 13. The Goblin Mine, we're at floor 12. Valhalla, we're at floor 12. And then the Ancient Ruin, we are at floor 10. But that is it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. I got some more upgrades I got to do with my new Saint of Purity character. We'll see if I make her a six star, seven star. I don't know yet. I'm going to use my universal nine star food right here for one of my darks to get them to a 10 star, probably the Night Eater to 10 star, and then just a six star as well. That is it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Stay happy, stay safe, have an amazing week. Peace.